Welcome to the Digital Revolution live stream. Jim Kunkel here, and I'm so happy to have you join me on this broadcast. On this live stream, I'll be covering this past, well, this January, we're still in January, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. There was a keynote presentation that was provided by Jesse Liu. He's the founder and CEO of Rabbit. Now, attendees of the Consumer Electronics Show, they witnessed the launch of a new artificial intelligence you know, powered gadget that aims to really simplify and enhance the user experience. The Rabbit R1 is a palm-sized device that can learn and execute various tasks using natural language, and it has a single button. Lou introduced the Rabbit R1, and let me quote what he said. It's the simplest computer that a uh, computer can comprehend, and it acts as your artificial intelligence companion. Now, this device has attracted a lot of attention and has sold out of five pre-order rounds since its debut on January 19th, 2024. Okay, before we get started, uh, I ask whether if you're watching this on LinkedIn, YouTube, or X, I appreciate your support and make sure that you do smash the like. And after the stream, please subscribe if you haven't already to the Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel podcast. It's on uh, any of your favorite uh, podcast providers. And feel free to post your comments and questions in this live stream's chat. And I'll try to answer as many questions that I have during the stream. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, I'm going to open up and just play a little bit of uh, uh, what uh, Jesse had talked about. And also, too, I want to give credit to Shane uh, Starnes for publishing this video. And I'll also include his commentary and then add my commentary as well uh, through this video. So. Let's get this video started. What's up, guys? Shane Starnes coming to you from Las Vegas. I'm here at CES partnering with Rabbit. I took a break from all the action to check out the Rabbit launch. They just launched their new R1 companion device. And this thing's gonna change the way that we use the internet. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the launch event. The smartphone was supposed to be intuitive, but with hundreds of apps on your phone today that don't work together, it no longer is. Our smartphones has become the best device to kill time instead of saving them. Recent achievements in large language models, however, or LLMs, a type of AI technology, now, I'm going to pause here, and what I want to do is I want to talk about large language model, or as it's known as an LLM. A large language model is a type of artificial intelligence program that can recognize and generate text, among other tasks. LLMs are used, and they're, they're trained, actually, on huge sets of data, and hence, uh, that's how they get the word large in it. LLMs use special architect architecture called transformers, which are which really rely on a mechanism uh, called attention to focus the most relevant parts of the input. LLMs can perform a variety of natural language processing or NLP tasks, such as text generation, translation, summarization, question answering, and more. Now, some examples of LLL, L, I'm sorry, LLMs are BERT, ChatGPT, Palm, and Gemini. Now, let me provide some examples of applications that use LLMs. The first is translations. LLMs can translate written text from one language into another using attention mechanisms to capture the meaning and context of the input. For example, Google Translate uses LLMs like BERT and ChatGPT4 to provide fast and accurate translations for over 100 languages. The next is malware analysis. LLMs can scan and explain the behavior of scripts to detect and prevent malicious attack. For instance, uh, Google Virus Tool Code Insight uses Security Palm LLM to analyze and classify malware samples. The next, which is important to me and a lot of others uh, th that are content creators, well, LLMs can generate a wide range of content from blogs and articles to short stories, summary scripts, questionnaires, surveys, and social media posts. 
The quality of these outputs really depend on the details provided by the initial prompt. For example, ChatGPT is an LLM that can create engaging and coherent text based on the user's input. Now, the next thing I want to cover is search. LLMs can improve the relevance and diversity of search results by understanding the user's intent and query content. For example, Bing uses LLMs like Palm and Gemini to provide personalized and structured search results. And the final example is virtual assistants and customer support. LLMs can provide conversational and helpful responses to users' queries for requests uh, and a request, and it uses natural language understanding for generation. For example, Siri and Alexa are LLMs that can perform various tasks and answer questions using voice or text. Let me go ahead and get back into the video. Have made it much easier for machines to understand you. Where these assistants struggle is still getting things done. If we can make an AI trigger actions on any kind of interface, just like a human would, we will solve the problem. This insight led us to create the large action model, or LAM, as we call it. With a so I'm going to stop here and cover LAM as well. Now, before Jesse Liu reveals the Rabbit R1 Pocket AI companion, I want to provide you know, some context related to large action model or LAM. A large action model, LAM, is a, a type of artificial intelligence uh, that can understand and perform human actions on computer applications. Now, LAMs are used in a combination of neural networks and symbolic reasoning to directly model the structure and behavior of various applications, such as web browsers, uh, email clients, or online shopping platforms. LAMs can learn from human demonstrations and execute tasks using natural language with a single button, for example. LAMs are different from traditional language models or vision models as they can handle complex and dynamic actions beyond text or imaging processing. As I did for the LLMs, let me provide some applications that the LAMs are used with. LAMs can understand and perform human actions on computer applications, as I mentioned, and web browsers. The first example would be related to healthcare. LAMs can transform uh, patient care by providing better diagnostics and personalized treatment plans. For example, a LAM could monitor a patient's vital statistics. They can analyze their medical history and suggest the best course of action based on the latest research and medical guidelines. Consumer electronics. LAMs can enhance the user experience of devices by adapting their preferences and needs. For example, the Rabbit R1, as a palm-sized device, uses LAM to learn and to execute various tasks using natural language. And again, this is all with a single button. That's really important to understand. You are not talking about uh, that you have to have a complex system. Robotics. LAMs can improve and automate in, uh, human robot interaction by understanding and mimicking human actions. An example of that where an LAM can control a robot arm to perform complex tasks, such as assembling a product, uh, picking product and placing objects, or even playing chess. And then the last is interactive learning and education. This is really important for the educational system. LAMs can understand student behavior and curate the learning experience. Now, an example here where LAM, it really can provide feedback, guidance, and assessments to learners as well as generate personalized, engaging content, such as quizzes, games, or stories. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, back with the video again, and then I'll, I'll comment as we go along. Thank you. Large action model, we fundamentally find a solution to the challenges that apps, APIs, or agents face. The large language model understands what you say, but the large action model gets things done. We'll pack the large action model into an advanced Rabbit OS operating system. It is built for real-time interactions between you and the Rabbit, powered by LAMP. Large action models concept and test results are so powerful that we decided to make a one-of-a-kind mobile device. Introducing R1, your pocket companion. This is the Rabbit R1. Designed in collaboration with Teenage Engineering, 
The R1 is a fully standalone device, primarily driven by natural language. R1 is equipped with everything you need to interact with you and perceive your surroundings. It comes with a touch screen, a push to talk button, and an analog scroll wheel, a microphone and speakers, and a computer vision enabled 360 degree rotational camera we call the Rabbit Eye. It is Bluetooth and Wi Fi capable and it has the same card slots that supports global 4G LTE network. And now, let's see how it works. What's the stock price of Coca Cola? Searching for the stock price of Coca Cola. The stock price of Coca Cola, KO, is $59.76. I want to take my family to London. It's going to be two of us and a child age 12. We're thinking of January 30th to February 5th. Can you plan the entire trip for me? We like cheap non-stop flights, grouped seats, a cool SUV, and a nice hotel that has Wi-Fi. Exploring ticketing options to make your trip a reality. For your trip, I found various flight options, a range of hotels to choose from, and car rentals available. Please confirm each option individually for further details and booking. So it's all been planned out. I just confirm, 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 and that's it. We are experimenting with what we call the teach mode. Just like how I can teach my friend how to skateboard, I can show R1 how to do it, and it will learn from me. This means that any user, regardless of technical background, can teach R1 to learn new skills. R1 is our companion that hosts the large action model with natural language. I can use it for a wide range of tasks. Ask anything, direct actions, complex actions, AI enhanced video calls, note taker, translator, with a rabbit eye, computer vision, and experimental teach mode. I'm gonna pause here. What you're witnessing right now, this is, this is the end of the mobile phone. This is the beginning of something different. You're no longer going to be relying on downloading apps and having apps and app stores and all this kind of stuff. These type of devices are going to be able to be communication devices. They're going to be your digital assistant. They're going to be everything that you're going to need, and you're going to have it in one device. If you want to make a phone call, you make a phone call. You want to send a text, you can send a text. You want to schedule a, a vacation, you can schedule it. Um, this type of a device is going to be absolutely, it's groundbreaking. It's absolutely amazing. And it, I'm real excited to see something like this launching because it's, again, it's a beginning. Um, it's probably going to have a lot of growth area to go, but just imagine what the future looks like when we have these new devices uh, and then everything starts to change from there. But uh, I'm just really excited to see this type of a device. Well, that being said, I want to thank you so much for participating in this live stream. I, I hope that you really enjoyed learning more about the Rabbit R1 A1 AI companion. Uh, this revolutionary device, I believe, will simplify and enhance your digital life. Um, I'm not a spokesperson. I'm not getting compensated. I just find this device fascinating, and hopefully you will too if you look into it. But as you've seen in this broadcast, the Rabbit R1 uh, can understand and execute various tasks using natural language in a single button. Whether you book a trip, you order food, play music, or anything else, the Rabbit R1 can do it for you. There's no apps, no ads, no distractions. You just tell the rabbit what you want, and it does it. If you're interested in getting your on the list to pre-order list. Like I said, they've got five already that they've uh, completely sold out of. Um, this device does have a wait list right now. So on this initial offering, there is going to be a limited number of devices available, which I think is probably smart to let those roll out there and look for the next uh, iteration because it'll be where they'll fix some bugs and things like that. But um, what I would say is, you know, don't miss an opportunity like this. Um, the price on it um, is a like 199, 199 US dollars. It's not an expensive device, uh, but it's got a lot of power backed into it. Um, okay, now let me properly close out this live stream. 
Join me next time as I continue our exploration of the digital transformation and dive deeper into topics such as security best practices, innovation and software development, process automation, artificial intelligence, power transformation, and industry-specific digital adoption strategies. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel podcast. It's on providers like Apple, uh, Spotify, YouTube Music, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and many, many other major platform uh, pro- podcast platforms. And also, please uh, check out the Digital Revolution channel on YouTube to stay updated on the latest videos and informative shorts. I appreciate your support of the revolution, and I look forward to bringing you more exciting and interesting content. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good evening, afternoon, morning, no matter where in the world you're watching this live stream. Thank you.